What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, T. I'm Tasha. And welcome to the Adventures of TNT. Now, we are back doing some more comedy in which we have Ron White. And the video that, or the piece we're doing today is called The Reason Why We Buy Women Diamonds. You can't read. It says The Reason We Buy Women Diamonds. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. So, why do we buy women diamonds? Um, It's a thing to do. But I know, like, back in the day... People didn't wear diamonds until what did they wear? Until De Beers came along, oh, and yeah. they had that commercial, yeah. and uh, it was like diamonds are forever. Right. And so it's shiny, it's pretty, but they're worthless. <laughs> Ooh, yikes! <laughs> well, we buy women diamonds because the commercial says to buy them. All there right. You well, go. let's go ahead and find out what and Ron. Women demand it. <laughs> right. <laughs> let's go ahead and find out what Ron's reason. Is. Thank you. I'm uh, 44 years old, and I'm in the best shape of my life. I work out. Yesterday, I was sitting in a beanbag chair naked eating Cheetos, and I was flipping through the, uh... Wait, what? I was flipping through the television, and I... <laughs> he's eating Cheetos in a beanbag. He bag. was naked. Yeah. <laughs> and he's in the best shape of his life. I saw Robert Tilton. He's a televangelist from Dallas, and, uh, and he was staring at me. <laughs> and he said, Are you lonely? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, if you wasted half your life in bars pursuing sins of the flesh, <laughs> this guy's good. <laughs> he said, are you sitting in a beanbag chair naked eating Cheetos? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. He said, do you feel the urge to get up and send me a thousand dollars? Oh. Close. <laughs> I thought he was talking about me there for a second. <laughs> so it's great to be here. I almost died on Wednesday getting here. I, actually, I didn't almost die. I didn't even get hurt. I flew here from Ottawa because my agent doesn't own a globe. <laughs> I flew here on a plane this big like a pack of gum with eight people in it. Just... It was scary. What happened was we, uh, we took off from the Ottawa Airport Hair Care and Tire Center there. <laughs> We're traveling at half the speed of smell. We get halfway to Montreal, we gotta go back. It's a nine minute flight. We can't pull it off with this equipment. We did, we, we had engine trouble. We lost some oil pressure in one of the engines and they told us about it over the speaker system of the plane, which was stupid because they could have just went, hey, we lost some oil pressure. <laughs> You know what? That's kind of like when we went, went to, to Minnesota. Minnesota. I was thinking the and same the flight to thing. <laughs> it was oh like a 15-minute flight. Gosh, <laughs> but the plane was so small. Yeah. And you were saying how the person, because we had separate flights. Right. You were saying how the person you sat next to was stinky. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Heard ya. <laughs> sure did. It was weird. Everybody on the plane was nervous, but I'd been drinking since lunch, and I was like, take it down. I don't care. <laughs> you ever have one of those days? You don't care if the plane stays in the air or not? Yeah. Uh, no. oh, yeah. The guy sitting next to me is losing his mind. Apparently, he had a lot to live for. He did. He goes, he goes, hey, man, hey, man, uh, 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 if one of these engines fails, uh, 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 how far will the other one take us? You're like, all the way to the scene of the crash. <laughs> yeah, which is pretty handy, because that's where we're headed. I bet we beat the paramedics there by a half hour. We're hauling ass, that's what we're doing. I drink too much. Other people learn things when I drink. 
Last night, a limo driver learned if I say I got a yak, it doesn't mean I have a long-haired buffalo living in my backyard. <laughs> you got a yak. You're like, yak. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that one. Yeah. <laughs> They asked me if I wanted to go to a topless club last night, and I didn't want to go, and, and, and then I ended up going anyway, because you guys backed me up on this. Uh, you've seen one woman naked. You want to see the rest up naked? And... <laughs> it could be an old... Yo, the funniest thing about his jokes, his delivery... His delivery is it, But his delivery is very unique, but... When he delivers his jokes, he has this this smile yeah. and this grin on his face. And you think you know what he's going to say, but then you don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Biker chick, you know they're going to hang down here. You want to see me naked? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I was reading a magazine today. I, I, somebody is De Beers. The diamond people are getting very close to truth in advertising. They're not there yet. I bet they're there by next year. The old slogan was diamonds are forever. Then they switched it to this year, take her breath away. The new slogan is diamonds, render her speechless. Why don't they just go ahead and say it? Diamonds, that'll shut her up. <laughs> I was in Miami when Hurricane George oh, hit the Keys. Yeah. And I thought this was funny. Everybody was evacuated the keys from the Keys except for one guy who's gonna stay there and tie himself to a tree on the beach to prove a point. And the point was, he said, that at 53 years of age, he was in good enough physical condition to withstand the wind and the rain what? from a Force 3 hurricane. Let me explain something to you. It isn't that the wind is blowing, it's what the wind is blowing. If you get hit with a Volvo, doesn't really matter how many sit-ups you did that morning. I'm from Texas. Uh, in Texas, we have the death penalty and we use it. <laughs> if you come to Texas and kill somebody, we will kill you back. <laughs> there, how's that? <laughs> They're trying to pass a bill right now through the Texas legislature that'll speed up the process of execution in heinous crimes where there's more than three credible eyewitnesses. If more than three people saw you do what you did, you don't sit on death row for 15 years, Jack. You yeah. go straight to the front of the line. <laughs> Other states are trying to abolish the death penalty. Mm. My state's putting in an express lane. <laughs> Thanks for playing along. That was fun. Oh. <laughs> I love yeah. Ron White. Yeah, I just funny. love his energy. I love his... He, he just don't give a F. -ness, yeah, it's like he doesn't care, and that's what makes it funny. Yeah, I I, I like like I said, I like his delivery yeah. and he delivers his jokes. I like With the, the, the smirk, the smirk on his face. <laughs> yeah, because you can see, you can tell. You know what I really enjoy about comedians sometimes is when they crack jokes and then in their head they laugh at their own jokes. Yeah. And so yeah. you know you could you yeah you can watch this clip and then you can see him <laughs> crack the joke and or deliver the line. And he gives that smirk, and then he's like, in, in his mind, he's like fighting against the his laughter. own laughter. Yeah, I love that's, that. That's what gets me. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, guys, we would love to do some more Ron White. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section. Also, check out our playlist where we have other featured comedians as well, yeah. including uh, Bill Burr, uh, Dave Chappelle, and so many others. Yeah. Uh, as always, like this video. Show us some love. Yeah, that's right. Show Smash us some love. Like Subscribe to the channel for more uh, reactions from us, and we will see you next time. Ta -ta. Peace.